Hi kids, I'm so glad you're here today, because today we're gonna go on a special trip to Dominican Republic! I don't know if you've ever been to Dominican Republic, but stay on your seat, hold on to your seatbelt, and let's go! The Dominican Republic is an island in the Caribbean. There's a little under 11 million people in the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic has 31 provinces. And people in the Dominican Republic speak Spanish. Did you know that in the Dominican Republic is hot all year round? Yep, that is true. With temperatures ranging from 25 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius. That is wonderful. It rains a lot between May and November, but it's always warm. Education is free in the Dominican Republic. And kids go to school in two different cycles. Some kids go to school from 7 in the morning to 12.30 in the afternoon while other kids go from 1 p.m. to about 6 p.m. Baseball is the Dominican Republic's favorite sport. Can you believe that close to 30% of professional baseball players are from the Dominican Republic? That's right! Bachata and merengue are the main type of music that people listen to and dance to in the Dominican Republic. This is an example of Perico Ripio, which is a type of merengue. Let's listen. I love Dominican food. Typical food in the Dominican Republic is known as Los Tres Golpes, the three hits. It is a great breakfast idea with plantain, eggs, onions, mashed plantain, and salami. Yum! A typical lunch and dinner includes rice and beans, chicken, salad, and, yup, you guessed it, plantain again. Then we've got sancocho, the most common soup choice, which includes some meat and vegetables of all types. There are lots of things to do and places to see in the Dominican Republic. You could go whale watching. Every year, thousands of humpback whales come together off the coast of the Dominican Republic. December to March are the best times for whale watching. Then we've got the Columbus Lighthouse which is where Christopher Columbus is said to be buried. Well, or at least that's where the bones are. Have you ever seen a cave? Well, Los Tres Ojos, which is said to be the three eyes, is one of the most visited attractions in the Dominican Republic. You see a huge limestone cave with three beautiful lakes. Or if you really, really like caves, you could go to the Cave of Wonders, which is a national park known for its ancient paintings and engravings on the wall made by the ancient natives of the island. Los Alto de Chabon is a replicate or a copy of a 16th century Mediterranean village. It's beautiful, isn't it? Then you got the Colonial City. This is the city where Christopher Columbus first landed in the Americas. There you will find some of the oldest sites in the Americas, like the first cathedral, or the first hospital, the first monastery, and the first university. And if you're like me, you would really appreciate the beaches. The Dominican Republic has many beautiful beaches. There is about 800 miles of coastline and over 200 beaches. Bavaro Beach in Punta Cana is one of the most popular. Oh, look at the time! We need to get back! I hope you've enjoyed this trip, but it's time to go! 
I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.